Let's go to our topic for this week number four. Effect of temperature in the speed of sound. This is Maestro Eitan of Science 8. Welcome to our physics class for this first quarter. Maybe you are asking yourself when you are walking in the seashore at night, why are you hearing the sounds produced far away from your distance? Bakit mo naririnig yung ingay o yung tunog mula sa malayo sa iyong kinaroroonan? Ano ang mga dahilan nito? Here we have the objectives that we're going to answer in this very topic. For number one, investigate how temperature affects the speed of sound waves. Number two, explain what other factors may vary the speed of sound in air. And talking about the propagation of sound, when you say propagate, it is to spread out. Yung pinapalawak mo yung sakop ng tunog. Kung kaya't narinig mo yung ingay yung tunog mula sa malayo sa iyong kinaroroonan or yun sa iyong position, they are able to propagate. They are able to spread out the vibration for it to travel. It is said that sound waves are example of longitudinal waves. They also exhibit characteristic features such as frequency, amplitude, wavelength, period, and wave speed. The alternate pushing and pulling mechanically exerts force on unit areas of air particles and thus creating pressure waves. This alternating compression and rarefaction make up the longitudinal waves like sound waves. For us to better understand this content, let's look in this illustration. Kapag sinabi mo longitudinal waves, these are waves in which the particles of the medium move parallel to the propagation of the wave. When you say particles, ito yung bigat or yung taas or yung baba ng waves kung kaya't ito ay kaalin sunod or let's say it is directly proportional to the direction of the propagation of the wave. Kung kaya't yung tunog mula sa malayo ay narinig mo sa iyong position because it is said to be parallel. Yung particles from that position ay dumating sa iyong kinaroroonan na kasabay ng pagpapalawak ng tunog. Kaya nga mayroon tayong wavelength. Pag sinabi mo wavelength, this is the repetition of either compression or rare faction. Pag sinabi mong compression, mabigat yung density ng sound, which is opposite to rarefaction, which is the reduction of the item's density. O yung rarefaction ang siyang tumutulong sa pagpapropagate o yung pagpapalawak ng sakop ng tunog. Ganun din naman ang sinatawag nating frequency or how many times it is repeated due to time. So this is longitudinal waves, which is a sound wave. The speed of sounds are being affected by these factors. Una, the different types of solids is either solid state of matter, liquids, or gases. And also the elastic properties. Sound can travel faster in mediums with higher elastic properties than in lower elastic properties. Looking at this illustration, this is a solid particles, and this is liquid particles, and also we have gas particles. It is said that the speed of sound is fastest in the solid state of matter compared to a liquid, which is also faster than gas. Therefore, solid ang may pinakamabilis or pinakamabilis na medium kung saan magtatravel ang sounds. It is because the compression of the vibration is heavy or in the density, yung bigat ng wavelength ay maikli lamang. So, ibig sabihin, yung sound ay maaring mag, mas mabilis talaga sa solid kumpara sa liquid, kumpara sa gas. You can see here that the vibration ay magkakadikit na. So, every time that there are vibrations between particles, the sounds is already traveling or propagating. Ibig sabihin, mas mabilis may ipasa yung sound, mas mabilis kumalat yung ingay o yung tunog in a solid state of matter compared to a liquid that there are spaces in between particles and mostly in gases na talaga magkakalayo na at scattered na yung mga particles kung kaya't mabagal yung pag-travel ng sound. 
And also, one of the factors that affect the speed of sound is elasticity of the property or yung tinatawag nating elastic property or the ability of the material to resist deformation. Ibig sabihin, there is a bouncing back into original shape or features. So, it is the ability to be stretched out. And also, it is mentioned here that sound can travel faster in medium with higher elastic property compared to lower elastic properties of the medium. Okay, for example, the rubber band. For example, the balloon. You are able to stretch it out. At yung sounds doon ay magpapastro lang ng mas mabilis compared to the object na madaling mapilas or hindi na nagre-resist ng deformation or they are not able to be stretched or they are not flexible enough. And also, bond strength between particles. Yun nga yung sinasaw, sinabi natin kanina, in between solids, liquid, and gases. And the density of a medium, the elastic properties have a greater influence on wave speed. And finally, one of the factors that affect the speed of sound is temperature of a medium. Molecules at higher temperature have more energy. Thus, they can vibrate faster. Let's go this to this illustration. Since temperature affects the speed of sound, at higher temperature, it has more energy. So, ibig sabihin, Mas mataas yung temperature, mas mainit, mas mataas din ang kinetic energy nito. At pag mas mataas ang kinetic energy, mas mabilis yung vibration. And kapag na mas, mas mabilis yung vibration ng molecules, ibig sabihin, mas mabilis din mag-travel ang sounds. It is already mentioned here that molecules at higher temperature have more energy, thus they can vibrate faster. Kita natin dito, since mataas yung energy nito, mas mataas yung kinetic energy, mas mabilis gumalaw, ibig sabihin mas mabilis yung vibration ng sounds, kung kaya't yung sounds ay magta-travel din ng mas mabilis. The speed of sound in room temperature air is 346 meters per second. It is also mentioned here that the speed of sound is the distance traveled per unit time by a sound wave as it propagates through an elastic medium. The speed of sound in air is about 343 meters, for example, in 20 degrees Celsius room temperature or let's say 68 degree Fahrenheit if we're going to convert it into Fahrenheit. All right. It also depends strongly on temperature as well as the medium through which a sound wave is propagating. Nakadepende talaga sa taas or baba ng temperatura or sa tinatawag natin elastic properties ng isang medium or isang object ang bilis ng pagpapakalat o yung spreading out or yung propagation ng sound. Okay, for us to better understand, let's look to this illustration. During the day, sounds travel faster. Because the temperature is warmer. Kita natin dito, sa ground surface, we have warmer temperature. At doon sa atmosphere, we have cooler temperature opposite during at night. It is seen here that in the ground surface, we have a cooler temperature wherein sound travels slower compared to the atmosphere wherein it is warmer and sound travel faster. At alam natin na nagpapalit talaga ang temperature ng ating surroundings during day at night. Sabi nga natin, mas malamig sa gabi dito sa ground. At mas mainit naman during the daytime. How about the sound? Sound travel faster because the temperature is warmer. Mas mabilis mag-travel ang sound dito sa daytime kumpara naman sa ating nighttime. Okay. Then sound waves bend away from the ground. Mas mabilis nga yung sound sa daytime pero yung kanyang 
propagation ng sound ay papunta sa atmosphere o papunta sa surface. Different naman sa night time. Wherein, during the night, sound travels slower because, the, because of the cooler temperature and sound waves bend towards the ground at papunta naman sa ground surface ang kanyang tunog. So, mapapansin natin dito, sa una nating illustration in this second slide, we have mentioned why I am able to hear the sounds during at night the sounds produced far away from my distance. Bakit ko narinig yung ingay mula sa malayo? Ganyan yung sabi natin is mas mabagal during the night. It is because papunta sa ground surface o yung sound wave is parallel. Yung kanyang molecules na na-create ng wavelength ng longitudinal waves is parallel to the propagation of the waves. So, ibig sabihin, pababa yung tunog, kaya we are able to hear, let's say we are in this location, we are able to hear because the sound is bent toward the ground. Because the sound is being refracted to the ground. Compared during the day, na ang sound waves naman ay na-bend in the surface. Pakalat yung sounds doon sa atmosphere. Kaya mas mahina na or hindi na natin marinig yung ingay during the day sa malayo position. That is the different. So, ibig sabihin, sa araw pala, kalat yung ingay o yung tunog. Sa gabi naman, ay papunta naman sa ground surface ang ingay. Kaya, nariretain yung ingay o yung tunog sa ground which is parallel to the position of the between the source and the one which is the recipient of the sound. Therefore, sound can be explained as to what is heard when sound waves travel through the air. Sound is a form of energy produced by vibration of molecules through which sound travels. Nagbabanggaan ang mga molecules, nagkakaroon ng vibration ang mga molecules, kaya napopropagate ang sound. Kaya ito ay naibabato mula sa isang position papunta naman sa isang location. So, sounds travel. Okay? Then, these are some of the reminders. The speed of sound may differ from different types of solids, liquids, and gases. Wherein it is said that the sound waves travel faster in solids than in liquids and faster in liquids than in gases. Therefore, sounds travel fastest in solid state of matter. And for number three, Sound can travel faster in mediums with higher elastic property than in lower elastic properties. Kasi nga, yung elasticity, they are able to stretch and it is flexible, pero naibabalik sa kanyang original shape. So, it's the ability to resist deformation. Kung kaya't, magkakadikit pa rin yung particles or yung molecules at nagkakaroon pa rin ng vibration between the part between the medium itself. So, nandun pa rin yung mga particles at siksikan pa rin, kaya mas madali yung vibration, kaya mas mabilis yung travel ng tunog. And number four, the speed of sound is directly affected by the temperature of the medium. Okay. So, yun yun. Then, for some examples of the speed of sound's medium, here we have, for example, in gas, liquid, and solid, Kita natin dito, in solid state, yung speed ng ating sound is 5,130 compared to liquid and compared to gases. Ito yung constant natin kanina ng sinabi kanina, which is 346 in a room temperature. Alright, so ito yung bilis ng propagation ng sound or what we call the speed of sound. And also, here are some of the materials or the mediums which are solids, liquid, or gases with their corresponding speed of sounds or the velocity of the sound waves. Hopefully, you have learned something in this week number four. This is the effect of the temperature to the speed of sound. Once again, this is Maestro Itan. God bless and see you around.